<laughs> if you could choose one show to do and give yourself any part or role in the production, what would it be and what would your role be? I'm, I'm verging on too old for it now, but uh, my show would be Cyrano de Bergerac, and I would give myself the title role. Um, Cyrano, as you probably know, has this enormous nose and consequently doesn't consider himself suitable for any sort of romantic encounters, and yet his soul um, is beautifully romantic. He's a poet of great skill and loveliness and assists another man um, to woo the girl that he's crazy about. But it's a, it's a marvelously romantic play, and the last act is just a real gut grabber, and it's marvelous. So, Cyrano de Bergerac, and I would play the title role. What is one of your favorite quotes from a show? Probably my favorite quote from a show is from A Midsummer Night's Dream, and I use it all the time. Um, the character of Bottom is in the play that the working men of Athens are doing for the Duke. And as they are exiting to go and prepare for their performance, he says, Take pains, be perfect. And I've adopted that as the, as the saying that I use for, for my actors before we perform. So that's my favorite. What is your favorite part about doing and being in theater? This will probably sound like the travel brochure or something, but it's really, it's very, very honest. Those moments, being in educational theater, it's those moments when student actors or designers or technicians just get it. And you see, you see the lights go on and they discover not just that they're capable of doing the skills required in the theater, but they discover that nourishment. They discover that need and that shape uh, in themselves that needed to be filled by something like that. It becomes the way they express themselves. It becomes the way they relate to other people. Um, and so just those moments when that kind of thing happens is really, you know, it's, it's worth everything. If you could choose one show to do and give yourself any role or part in the production, what would the show be and what role would it be? Um, it would be Book of Mormon and I'd be Elder Cunningham. Um, my show that I would do if I had the opportunity to would be Avenue Q and I would most obviously be Kate Monster because I sound just like her. Proof and Catherine. It would be the show Company by Stephen Sondheim, and I would play all the roles. I, uh, last, the last five years, the girl. What's her name? Kathy. Kathy, yeah, yes. I keep wanting to say Jamie, but that's the boy. Although, no, I'd rather have his part, because I want to sing. I think you could I want to sing Chicks and Goddess. I love it. We could do a gender bent in the <gasps> last five years. My show would be Evil Dead the Musical, and I would be the director, stage manager, and I would play the role of Cheryl, because why not? Um, I have two actually. If I could sing, I would do uh, I would do Sweeney Todd, and I'd be Mrs. Lovett, or the crazy mom lady who's all like, "Hey, look under my dress, sailor." <laughs> that's that's her part, okay? <laughs> or uh, I always wanted to play Catherine or Cat in Taming of the Shrew, because that just seemed like a really fun part. <laughs> Yes. Fiddler on the Roof and Tevia, definitely. With the MC from Cabaret, because he has lipstick, and who wouldn't want a badass cane and big eyelashes? I would want to be a part of Harry Potter the Musical, and I would like to be, um, Who's you? the fat friend who ends up saving the day at the end? Neville Longbottom? Yeah, Neville. Okay. But I would want to be a Hufflepuff Neville, not a Gryffindor Neville. I would do Night of the Iguana, and I would make myself the set designer. I would be either Kathy from the last five years, Kate from Avenue Q, or Mrs. Lovett from Sweeney Todd. What is one of your favorite quotes from a show? This is worse than that time I got that case of Dutch elm disease in Tijuana from Shrek. My favorite quotes from a show would be, sometimes there's God so quickly from Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. I'd bite my thumb at thee, good sir. Into Whatever show. mine is, it's probably from Spamalot. They've been out searching for a shrub. Out shopping for a bush. That's, I like that one. <laughs>
I was listening to Well, that they today. can kiss my tush. <laughs> I love it. I like that a lot. It's good. Mine's probably something from Into the Woods. It's probably, it's the a giant it's like, is a woman! <laughs> <laughs> or, or dwarves are very upsetting. Dwarves are very upsetting. And God said, where the hell is Tim? And there the hell was Tim. And God said, let there be doors that open when they open and close when they close. From Noises Off. It's it's Hattie's line. She has that giant monologue about Wayne Wilder. And she's like, Wayne Wilder, something, something, something. Fuck you. That's from, that's from Laundry and Bourbon. They were married and lived happily ever after. Well, I'm glad. That is from Once Upon a Mattress. Buckle your seatbelts, it's going to be a bumpy ride. From High Cheeks. Oh, everything we know about dragons is wrong. From How to Train Your Dragon. There's a stage production of that, so don't say that's not a show. There, there's, a, there's a monologue that Felix does in uh, The Odd Couple. It's this monologue about friendship. He's talking to Oscar, and he's... You know, Oscar, Oscar's telling him that he wants him to move out because he's driving him crazy. And uh, Felix is explaining to him that you know that he was he was lost when he, when his wife when his wife told him that she wanted a divorce and was kicking him out. He was lost and he didn't know what he was going to do. He didn't know where he was going to go. And he said he came he came over to uh, to Oscar's. And he's thanking, he's thanking Oscar for, for taking him in, and, and uh, you know, Oscar's getting pissed because, you know, he, he's really mad at Felix, but then he can't be mad at him because he's given him this compliment about how nice he was to him and, and everything. I would pretty much choose anything from Into the Woods. Um, Opportunity is not a lengthy visitor is one of my favorite quotes. What is your favorite part of theater? It brings out your creativity. There's so many things. Um, the collaboration of everybody working together. Uh, what I love most about this department in particular is, you know, everyone's up for the same role. Everyone's up for the same shows. And even when you're not cast, you can go into the green room any time of the day and people are willing to run lines with you or work on your characterization. And it's just great how supportive everybody is. Probably the week right before the show starts. I know everybody hates it, but it's that last minute of... <gasps> I really don't like theater. I don't even know why I'm here. So. I'm always tired. Don't ask her right now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that that ending of a show, like that just, you did it, and it was what it was. And, and it's done you're, you're now. proud of it, and it's done you're now. You're going to put it to bed. Yes, Good I like night. that. I like that feeling very much. Oh. Best sleep you will ever get <laughs> is post-show sleep. Worst part is when you, you do that, mm -hmm. and then you realize you have to go into rehearsal for your next show in the morning. Uh-huh. Been that there. sucks. In there. I like the collaborativeness of it. At least here, anyway. And sometimes, not always, but sometimes I really like, um, because we're such a small little group and such a small company, everyone ends up doing a little bit of everything. Yeah. So it's kind of cool to come in to a show and put on your costume knowing that you helped prepare that costume. Mm -hmm. And then come onto the set knowing that you helped paint it, you helped build right. it, you had. Or well, in know. some cases, you help design. Or, yeah, design really the, I mean, cool. you may be, you know, chorus number number three, but you also design the props, yeah. you know, and you, but it's, it's, it's kind of cool to be able to see each side of it. Mm -hmm. It keeps one from getting super frustrated with the, the area that they're yeah. supposed to be focused on. It's not so monotonous that way. I also like curtain call. Yes! <laughs> the applause. When it was a good show. When mm -hmm. it was a bad show, I would be like, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. sorry. But when it, when it was actually, when it's actually a good one, it's, it's cool to um, come out and just be yourself for just a second. Yeah. I love that we love each other. I love love, and if that's wrong, I don't want to be right. My favorite part of theater is that it's extremely laid back, actually. Not when a show's going on, because when a show's going on, everybody's like uptight and stressed, but between shows, you've got that, that grace period where you're just all like, hang out with me, we're friends, we're awesome, blah, 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 and then you're laughing. Yeah.
I don't know all of it. The sex. Cameron Lopez. I'm kidding. It's the money. <laughs> <laughs> what money? <laughs> oh no, it's the humor. Okay. It's all the charming people in the theater. Sleeping in and not doing it. Watching other people work. The, the thing I like most about theater mm -hmm. is being able to collaborate with other artists and creating a, a piece of art. I, I could not be a solitary artist working in a studio. I would lose my mind. I, I enjoy, I'm a very social person and I like, uh, I like working with other artists. They inspire me and they, they push my creativity. My favorite part of theater would be, besides what we all bring to the audience, would be the bonds that we create when making a show. With our theater family, we, um, get closer and closer whether you are just whether you're actors or stage managers or crew or what um, or designing anything uh, you have a special bond with the show and with the other people that you help create it with and I really love that describe the theater in one sound it legitimately is <sighs> <laughs> The sound of people screaming internally from excitement and frustration <laughs> all at once. <laughs> 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 the sound of electrical buzz. And, oh, and that of the sound of any kind of power tool. <laughs> Lyra, can you describe theater in one sound? One sound. I think that describes theater pretty well.